Welcome everyone, I'm Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrow's and join me today while I make a vintage inspired heart which you can use for Valentine's Day or any day of the year. I'm just taking a white heart that I got from Michaels, love them because they're already painted white and that's one less step I have to do. When you're decoupaging, you always wanna make sure that your background is white so your, your decoupage papers pop. All right, so now I'm just putting on a coat of my favorite decoupage medium, which is Paint Couture Decoupage Medium in Satin. So you just put a coat on right there and now we're just drawing it. And we're gonna be doing the iron-on method today. So I'm taking this beautiful vintage inspired rice paper from Decoupage Queen and we're just putting it down and we're gonna be doing the iron-on method. Now you need parchment paper, remember, not wax paper. Wax paper will make it melt, will melt on your project. So you just take your, your parchment paper and now I'm just taking my handy dandy little travel iron that I always use for all my crafts. It's a great um, iron for your crafting projects because of the size. Now you could go both ways, one way, two ways, and this way you make sure that your paper is on good. Now I'm just checking the edges just to make sure that they're, they're down. And now I'm just gonna take a sanding block. When I do my decoupage, especially if I'm using high quality decoupage paper, my grit that I use is 180. Otherwise, uh, you're just gonna be sanding for a long time to get the edges off. So I use a lower grit. Um, 220 is good for me for napkins, but decoupage paper, I like to use a little bit lower and it's a 180 grit. Now, if you can see, look how quick that's coming off because of the lower grade and the coarser, coarser uh, sandpaper. So look how beautiful that is. And now I'm just taking that. This is a stamp that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and we're gonna put it on the paper just to give it a little bit more, the background a little bit more um, something something. Um, and I'm just taking the color uh, archival ink in vintage photo and I'm just tapping it all different places just to give a little interest to the background of this paper. If you see what I'm doing here, I'm just placing it, you know, randomly all over and it's just going to give the background a little interest and a little something extra to look at. And if you can see how light it is, but look how pretty that looks on the background. I know my, my lighting is uh, probably not showing it off as well. Um, now I'm just taking the same um, vintage photo and I'm going around the edges. I always like to edge out my pro projects. I think it gives more of a finished, prettier look. So you can see one side done and one side not done. And the one side that was done looks so much more finished to me. All right, so we're just going in. And I sometimes I put, put it in, in a little bit uh, inside the paper. There we go. See, just a little bit. And now it gives the heart more of a vintage look. Now I'm just taking a little rope I got from Hobby Lobby in the, I got that in the wedding section. It's like a cream color um, jute, which is really, really pretty. And just wrap it around a couple of times. And then I'm going to take some flowers by Sola Woods. If you never heard of those flowers, it, they're gorgeous um, wood flowers and they're really, really pretty. They look so real. So I'm gonna wrap up, make it, I wrapped it around around three times and now I'm just going to make a little bow just like that and we're gonna glue our sola flowers down. I hope I'm saying that right, sola flowers? I think that's what it is. All right, so we have our little bow there just like so and now I'm just gonna glue these flowers down. Aren't they so pretty? They're just gorgeous and they're, they're in three different shades of cream. So they're gonna match the, um, the vintage inspired heart just perfectly. So now I'm just gonna glue them down with my uh, glue gun and we're putting the big one in the middle and the two smaller ones we're going to attach on both ends of, there we go, perfect, on both ends of the flower, just like so. There we go. I just have, you know me, I just have to make sure I'm putting them in the right spot because it's gonna be hard. It's, it's hard to get those um, solo flowers off when they are ready, when they are glued down. Once they're glued down, they're, they're, they're on your project for good. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna put this last one down. And I look how simple and easy it was to create a beautiful vintage inspired heart for your home decor for Valentine's Day. I love things that don't scream Valentine's Day, and this is just one of them. So happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Enjoy, I hope you are inspired and create this beautiful heart. 